Hey folks, Doug Trevino, Realtor with Maxim Realtors here in Southwest Florida. Uh, coming at you today, I wanted to talk just for a brief moment about uh, foreclosure versus short sale. Um, more in respect to what does a foreclosure do to a neighborhood uh, versus how does a short sale help a community. Um, had uh, I was talking to a colleague here the other day, and we were discussing something very much along these lines. Um, how how can a community help preserve their value or, or help ensure that their property values don't drop uh, as a community? Uh, one of the biggest ways is to really get behind the idea of a short sale. If you have a neighbor who's considering foreclosing on their home, and you were discussing this with them, and they're not sure about a short sale or whether they should pursue it or not. Uh, it would absolutely be in their best interest to sit down and talk about a short sale. And how does that help the neighbor? Well, it helps the neighbor in that if that gen or that neighbor who's considering foreclosing, if they do go into foreclosure, their house does go into foreclosure and they leave the property. What typically happens to foreclosed properties? Well, one of the things happens is they go into um, maintenance stops happening on the property. Lawns get overgrown. Even if the even if the property is maintained by the bank which is gonna be at the very most cost-effective way, which means it doesn't get mowed regularly. Um, things happen in the house. Uh, hopefully, God forbid, break-ins don't start happening when people realize that the house is vacant, but uh, sometimes AC units disappear, um, depending on the property. Water treatment uh, appliances start disappearing, uh, aerators and things like that. Most importantly, what happens visually to a property that's been foreclosed uh, becomes less than desirable. God forbid if a lot of properties in a neighborhood and a community become foreclosed on, typically, generally in that area, people aren't going to be as inclined to want to purchase and property values will start to drop. So as a community, it helps. And how does a short sale help? Well, a short sale keeps the property from foreclosing, puts a new owner into the property who's going to take care of the property, make sure it's maintained. Um, a short sale is really going to be for a community, not even for that individual, but for a community it's going to be a better um, a better strategy or better way to go than just watching a neighbor fall into foreclosure. So if you know somebody who's thinking about foreclosing, they're behind on their payments, they've mentioned it, they haven't thought about short sale, or even if you don't know if they've thought about short sale, it absolutely would behoove you uh, to go ahead and talk to that neighbor and maybe even drop off a card. Maybe if you know their email address or you mentioned it to them, Mention my name and address and, and tell them to call me at 239-410-4460. No obligation. Hey, listen, you need to sit down with a realtor and talk. Short sale may be your way out. Not to mention a good benefit to mention would say, listen, by the way, if you foreclose versus short sale, if you short sell, you could buy a house again in 24 months. Not so if you foreclose. Okay, you're not going to have that benefit. So... It's always better to go through the short sale process to try to get your house short sold than just to let it go and foreclose, okay? At least go through that process, see what can happen. So uh, absolutely call, recommend. If you're someone and you know somebody in a foreclosure situation, have them call me, uh, have them email me at doug at maximumrealestatepro.com as well, or go to my website, www.douglastrevino.com, and uh, we can go ahead and discuss and sit down and see if, if uh, short sale is a viable option for them. But absolutely, if you want to do your due part and you're planning on staying in your community and you know of people going into foreclosure, it behooves you to definitely have them sit down and potentially try to short sale their home versus just let it fall into foreclosure. So you don't want to look at your neighbor's property and see its uh, weeds are overgrown and shingles are falling off and uh, you know somebody else tries to sell their home um, just on the market and potential buyers go and see that happening definitely doesn't uh, do well for a neighborhood so how badly it hurts who knows but it definitely doesn't look as nice as if everybody owns their home and is taking care of the property so that's my two cents for today absolutely short sale short sale call if that's an option uh, 239-410-4460 it's a beautiful day here in southwest florida as usual uh, hope you're having a great day wherever you are and uh, thanks for watching Hey folks, Doug Trevino. Listen, I wanted to also do a, a follow-up to my foreclosure versus short sale video. And I wanted to show an example of a foreclosed home. And uh, and I happen to be up here in the Northwest Cape at the moment. I uh, just met with the client a little bit ago. And um, 
we were discussing this as well so I want to definitely uh, stop by and show an idea of a uh, foreclosed home and, and what you can look at uh, expectation wise and we'll do a quick little survey around the house and we'll look at that. Here's an example of a foreclosure and what can happen to a neighborhood. Uh, you notice trees are, are not trimmed. Uh, just to start we have a fence back here that's uh, broken off. Uh, we got debris in the yard. Uh, obviously we have some trimming that had happened in the past and we have debris in the driveway, overgrown grass, uh, garbage can in the entryway. Uh, that's always attractive. And uh, so you can see, you know, this this is not exactly a, a beautiful sight. Um, walking onto the property, we also noticed that uh, the AC unit's missing and a couple other things. And and this is in the Northwest Cape on a, a pretty uh, nicely maintained uh, area. You know, the other homes here are nicely maintained. People take pride in their lawns. Um, homes are well done, and then you've got the eyesore. Uh, and it wouldn't be that bad you know, if this property had, uh, had an owner in it. Uh, you know, who knows the situation, but this is just an example of a female situation where, and this is probably one of the, one of the uh, nicer examples I can show. There are some that are worse than this, so, um, you know, but a, but a generally nice area, uh, some undeveloped lots still. We are in Northwest Cape, of course. Um, but driving through the neighborhood, this, this is a very, very nice area. So just a, a sample of, of, what, of what happens in a foreclosure. I mean, we've got, we've got weeds and vines growing on the, in the foyer, the entryway there. Actually, that's the entryway. That's 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 so anyway, just a quick view, snapshot of what can happen on a foreclosure. This, is, this could be your neighbor. Or you could have talked to him about a short sale.